Hey y'all, it's me, Stop, Drop, and Roll On. And I had did a little bit of videoing before I went in the store. When I went in the store, the sun was like trying to come out and stuff. It ain't even trying. I guess it said it ain't just ain't gonna happen for you today. Anyway, um, I told y'all about what happened the other day. Why I'm just not coming to the store today. And let me stop staring. Anyway, I could, you know, I would look, have you ever, like, looked at something and you kind of, like, trying to make out what it is, but it's actually people, and you need to not be doing that because it could be misinterpreted. I meant no harm, really. Anyway, this coffee is not hot because Pierre got it for me this morning before he went out of, um, he went, before he went to the house of the waffle. Y'all know that. Anyway. Me and this vlogmas, I'm going to count it whatever it is. I should just say must. And like, whatever it is, it is. Okay? Um. Yeah, must. M-A-S. In Spanish, that means more. So, let's just say this is going to be my must. Meaning... It's going to be more than what I usually do, but probably not meeting the standard of block vlogmas. There we go. Anyway, on the fly right off the shoulder and the cuff. Uh, when I was at home, and I have to tell y'all about our little ancestry DNA type situation, but let me just put it to you like this. We got some new family members, okay? And it's for real, for real. And I have to, that might be something I talk to y'all about. But they happen to be boys. And excuse the bag, this is me being country when I was at uh, Sprankton's house. Uh, she helped me make blankets. Y'all know, anytime we get new people and what, what not, people get blankets. And they were sitting around, it kind of made me feel good while I was there. Get back there, please. But I made them while I was there. I took my sewing machine with me. And um, she, Scranton helped me too. Uh, but she was getting up. While I was thinking about one morning, she got up. While I was resting, I was in there thinking about how we could cut this out. And I was like, Mama, I got up already. And I used the couch because I know how to do that. Because you are the person that taught us how to be resourceful. And I don't have to have a cutting table to be able to do what I need to do. And I didn't want to clear off the table. So um, I just did what I did. So when she got up, I had already cut them out and pinned them. And so I did sewing and then she, I turned them, she turned one and I turned the other one and then I finished them off and then she finished the, the opening opening. But anyway, that's one, two blankets there. I have two at home. I have a blanket that, um, I need to mail to, uh, a little girl named Hannah. Yes. And, um, I have to finish it. My goal is to get it in the mail this weekend as well. Um, and then we got a new baby that's probably going to be here by Monday. We done had another one last month. But the little bitty ones, I don't really make them blankets because the blankets, I don't want to be responsible for nobody having to go in there and dig the baby out of a blanket. Because I'm not making them little bitty ones because, um... When Boog, which is my brother's youngest kid, who, Boog is driving, y'all. Can y'all believe that? Anyway, I'm going to have to let him take me for a spin. I'm going to get prayed up real good, though, before I do it. But he's over there. He's doing a lot. But I'm going to have to go over there and see what's going on for real. But anyway, that's what's going on. Let me get back on track. But the reason why I don't make little kids or buy little kids blankets now is because we just had to take Boog's blanket from him. I didn't make him a blanket. I bought him a blanket, a little blanket set. And that rascal had to be separated from that blanket. Probably it's been about four years ago now. So y'all do the math. If he's driving now, you know how old he was. And I'm not talking about no full-size blanket. It wasn't right. That's what I'm going to say. Anyway, I'm in the parking lot. I came out the store. Some of this stuff y'all done seen before and I won't share it. But this here... I really do like this stuff. And now while I was staring at them, now they staring at me. How y'all doing? 
Because mm -hmm. I'm over here talking and it looks like I'm talking to myself, but I'm really talking to y'all. This right here, Ready Whip uh, Non Dairy Almond Milk. I like this on top of my coffee sometimes. This stuff is pretty good. And for two tablespoons, it's 10 calories, 0 0.5 of fat, and one gram of carb. Okay? But almond milk is the number one ingredient, as my great grandma used to say. I got myself a bag of organic uh, brown rice. I was looking for some wild rice, but I didn't see any in there. Of course, baking soda is always in order. I use baking soda for whatever. And these, I'm going to have to do run the thing on it. But y'all remember when I was looking for these things high and low? I think the reason why they I couldn't find them was because they were re, uh, not rebranding, but repackaging them. And um, this one is the one, Clean Snacks, this is the one with almonds made with chia seeds and flax seeds. And I'm going to have to um, scan this to see how many points a serving is. I also bought myself two of these. This is Simple Truth Poland Line Skipjack Chunk Light Tuna. This is in spring water with a little bit of sea salt. But this one is one of the, this is wild caught, okay? And so that's the one I'm doing for right now. It takes me a long time to nothing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's that in that bag. Then in this bag here, I didn't even say what Pierre be saying. It's a hole, y'all. I'm supposed to say that. I bought just some base breakfast blend coffee. Pierre bought me some specialty coffee when I was when we went home for Thanksgiving. But he they were little packages that had like maybe about two serving like two two rounds in them or whatever. I done depleted them things already. Okay, so I'm that's just like my tide over. Sometimes I do the espresso, um, the little what I found out from healthy, uh, healthy from one of the guys that I'm subscribed to. I want to say his name is Healthy Kitchen or something. Anyway, he showed us how to make proper Cuban coffee. I didn't know that I was making Cuban coffee. I just knew that I I always just called it boiled coffee because my grandparents made it. And I didn't know it was Cuban coffee. Uh, it was a proper name for it. Uh, that's what I was doing. And y'all think I'm playing. Y'all didn't see my little uh, pot before. When I go home, I don't play. I take anything that I need with me. I have not taken this inside the car. This went to, to Oklahoma with me when I went home. I packed my own coffee and my coffee spoon. Because um, Scranton don't drink coffee. Just in case I took my own espresso powder with me. Just in case I wanted that and i took my uh cuban coffee pot with me you see it ain't new you see it's look at the bottom of it that'll tell the story okay and this is my little setup that i took with me so just so people know um i wasn't playing but i didn't take it out of the car yet because i've been drinking that stuff pierre uh got i got some more fire roasted tomatoes because on the regular I would do a chicken. I wrote did a chicken in the instant pot already this week, and I need to do a video. Um, and uh, on top of that, I usually make like the chicken tortilla soup. Anymore, I was measuring stuff, and now most of the stuff ended at zero points, and um, and pretty much everything in it is zero points except for if you get dark meat chicken. If you're using white chicken. Uh, white meat then that's zero points too on my plan but um i'll take some of that chicken and make soup with it and it is very filling what i didn't get was some corn because i do put corn in mine sometimes but i ain't got to have it and i'm just like that but i have been like i think my magnesium is low which means i need to put some magnesium oil on myself and and get my life right um do y'all want me to show y'all about the man? Anyway, uh, but because I'm craving sweets, and I haven't been doing that. So, the other day I wanted some pineapple so bad, but see, I don't play with stuff that's in, in syrup. So, this is pineapple chunks in pineapple juice, and I'll still rinse it because I don't want any. I just want the pineapple. And so, I got one can of pineapple. I got some tomato sauce. 
And I got these little fire roasted tomatoes. This is the stuff I put in my chicken soup. Now this right here, these uh, roasted red bell peppers, I got something I want to try. See, I'm, right now I'm in the, when people be saying something tastes just like something, I don't be taking folks' words for it, and y'all don't need to be taking my word, because everybody's palate is different. Y'all, we all know that. We grown here. So, you have to just look at stuff for what it is. So, that's that. But I'm going to try something, and if it's for real, on the real, real, I'm going to tell y'all what I think. Okay. But it involves them peppers. This is the one of the snacks that I have, because one of these is one point. So sometimes I have one of these and I might have a cup of tea or something like that. And that's the story on that. One of the ladies that I'm subscribed to, this is common sense, but I wasn't having common sense. When you open this cheese and stuff, it this all of this stuff goes bad so fast. I have a food saver for the most part I use it, but I, it's just Pierre eats cheese, but he doesn't eat a lot of cheese. I don't eat as much cheese as I used to because you would have thought that I was trying out for Ratville, the lead role, okay? So, I done slowed it up. So, I'm going to, I bought this so I can start shredding my own cheese and then using what I need and food savoring the rest. So, I bought a Kobe Jack one. And I bought, yeah, Kobe Jack and Pepper Jack. That's what I bought. Now, these here are high-end points because they're not low, low situation. I bought one little thing of raisins because sometimes I like raisins in my oatmeal. Sometimes, and sometimes not. It just depends on how I'm feeling. In the evening, sometimes I will have almond. This here, this is the one I use, almond milk alternative. Not the soy one. This one is soy-free and dairy-free. This is the almond milk one. This is the one that I use, eat, whatever you have you want to call it. And sometimes I put um, another little bit of contraband in it. I'll show it to you in a minute. But the contraband is, that I use is um, pecan chips. Sometimes, I, just not a lot, a little bit of pecan chips in there and then a piece of dried fruit that's the country other country band i'm talking about now the kid is always gonna have some popcorn this is my popcorn skinny pop 30 calories per cup sometimes it is what it is look these light sometimes i want a bagel i mean uh uh what do you call it? nooks and crannies is what i uh y'all see what this is an english muffin sometimes that and some tea it's on and popping. I got some barley. I, I'm going to probably make some barley soup. I got another bag of black beans. Because y'all know about me and black beans. They are my friend. And, and they a uh, friend of the Instant Pot too. Yes, sir. Let's see. What else do we have down here? Oh, yeah. This one here. It seems like I got a lot, but not really. Um dishwashing stuff i haven't tried this lemon shine let me shine but i kind of like the thing that you clean the disposal out i'm gonna give this a try if it ain't i'll be cleaning out the bathtub with it it ain't gonna go in the trash can i like these little small spaces things i put these in my uh closets and stuff and they uh do me right trash bags everybody know about trash bags y'all know me i'm gonna always at this time of year At this time of year, I'm telling you, I'm always looking around me. Anyway, let me get back to this. This time of year, I'm going to always have something smelling like an evergreen, a tree. Uh, uh, oh, okay, now I see what he's doing. Because he was over there. There you go. But he got out on the passenger side. And he got a whole lot of paraphernalia in this van. And whatever, like I said have key real room anyway and this right here plantation mint this right here is a tea like no other in the afternoon if i start to feel myself getting some kind of way or i need to have a moment i will make a cup of that stuff and it'll perk me up and have me uh walking on sunshine 
Mm -hmm. And don't it feel good? Y'all know that song. And I'm trying this Trim Simple Truth Organic Glass Cleaner. Uh, this one is Eucalyptus Mint. I'm going to give it a try. Probably could have made that at home. But right now, I ain't making nothing at the house. Well, not, that's a lie. I am making some stuff at the house. It's just not that. Okay, this is the last bag. Yeah, it surely is. And I got myself some raspberries. I got some blackberries. And I say myself, because Pierre won't eat none. If I put this in front of him, you think it, you, you know how you get them babies, uh, like some of that stuff, when they first trying out baby food, and they sit there and let you put it in their mouth, and then they just let it run down their mouth, and they looking at you while it's running down. Like they making a food goatee. Pierre do, he don't let it run down his mouth, but he do that same look them little babies do, like, why did you give me this to eat? You know this ain't right. You know you wouldn't even eat it. But you gave it to me because I'm a baby and I can't speak up for myself. Give the children what you eat for the most part. Not everything. Uh, blueberries. I like blueberries. And sometimes this is something I put in my yogurt too. And I will put a blueberry in my oatmeal. Which um, I, I'm eating these still cut oatmeal. Y'all know how it is. You got to do things to help yourself. And do as my patients say. That stuff lowers your cholesterol. I used to love to hear that man say that. He'd be like, how's my lab work? Is my cholesterol down? He was just obsessed with his cholesterol level. All right then, let me get back. Uh, tomatoes. Y'all, here it is right here. I don't know why in the world... Anybody in their right mind will be like, for real though? Yes, for real though. Figs. When we were children, we talked about, I, I wish I could apologize to my grandpa right now. We talked about him in, on kid level. He he didn't know it. When he sit up there and eat them fig newtons and drink coffee. Now I'm sitting up here eating figs. And I'm not playing. Every time I eat one of these figs, I put it down in my... um. I put them in my oatmeal, and I also put them in my yogurt. Y'all, I think about that man, how we just talk. We be like, you sitting up there eating them roach cookies? That's what we called them. And we just be looking at him like, who does that? Now I am that person. Oh, I didn't even do this. Basil. Yes, because I'm going to be uh, meal prepping my breakfasts for the week. And I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to try to be not mindful and show y'all that. I got something right there, but this video done went long enough that I want to show y'all. But I'm going to save that for another video. Probably tomorrow. Okay. I done showed y'all what I got. Told y'all about the blankets for our new family members. And now I'm getting ready to buckle myself up. Take a sip of this cold coffee. Safe to rise myself. And go to...